and walk to school what we thought walk to school um my boyfriend who drove her to school drove away at that point um it was seen on video footage that she hung out in the parking lot of the church for a few minutes and then got up and walked towards the school but she never made it walk from and that was around 9 a.m when she got up uh she never made it to school after that it's right next to the school i don't know why she didn't make it i don't know if something happened on her walk along the way or if she got taken but she never made it our detectives have determined that madeline was never dropped off on the morning february 26 near her school following up on every single lead and every shred of evidence. They haven't let me know anything. They haven't updated me since I spoke to them this morning. I've contacted them to get some information or to give them some leads, but I was Instead, we believe she was already dead at the time and that Stephen Stearns moved her body in the early morning hours on that day. We have video evidence that shows Stephen Stearns discarding items in a dumpster in that apartment complex in Kissimmee at 7.35 on Monday, February 26th. Detectives later recovered Madeline's backpack and her school-issued laptop from that dumpster. At 8.19, we have evidence that shows Stephen Stearns returning to the complex and Madeline was visible in that vehicle. We believe she was already dead at that time. And what, what happens now? I mean, especially that she doesn't have her phone with her. Um, so as far as I know, they're conducting a search around the school, behind the school. There's a shingle creek. There's a, a wooded path area that you could walk. Uh, it's a hiking path. They are going back there with their canine dogs. Uh, they've taken a piece of her clothing to see if they can trace her scent. Um, They're also taking their own vehicles. I'm not sure what type of vehicles, but they're going into the woods to search for her. Um, but I don't feel like that's going to find anything right now. We've had people all day on that trail sending us photos to see if anything there looks familiar and like her personal belongings and nothing is hers. As a mom, you know, what is your what's your mother's intuition telling you right now? I'm trying to hope for the best, but I'm just, I'm scared for her. I want her to be okay. I want her to be safe. I don't want, I don't want her to come back home. I, I just, I just want her back. Whatever that means, just, I just want her back. And not knowing like where she is or where the kids are, it's, I, I, I don't know what to do right now. I just feel so alone in this house right now. And I don't know, I don't know where to go from here. I just want them back. <laughs> I just, I just want them to come back. I, I just, I just want her back. Just, I just want her back. I just want them back. <laughs> I just, I just want her back.